Hey there. So, today, on this surprisingly beautiful winter's e afternoon, got maybe another couple hours of sunlight, hour and a half or so, uh, I am out to go get some more kindling. This is our kindling basket thing that we keep for our small little sticks and stuff to get the fire started. And uh, right now I am headed towards our personal kindling gold mine, which is this direction. This fence here is not the border of our property. Uh, this was actually put up by a neighbor years ago who uh, the previous owner of the property said could use the property for his horses, so he put up this little fence here. But, yeah. Squeeze through it. And there's both our kitty and our dog. This is, by all the sticks you can see, this is where I've been harvesting some dead oak trees for burning. Alright, so, you have to excuse me, alright, so, this is it, we've got this thicket of younger pine trees next to these absolutely ginormous ones, but uh, we've got this thicket of these young pine trees, and like as you can see, this stuff, pine is wonderful, these little sticks is just wonderful for kindling, so I just snap it off like this and throw it in the bucket that easy. We've got easily, I would imagine, a couple winters worth just here. And the nice thing is, is this is definitely sustainable and renewable. <laughs> they grow every year. More and more sticks. But, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and pause it, and I'll unpause it when I've got a bucket mostly full. Alrighty, there we go, a full kindling bucket. And just off of this one tree, and as you can see I didn't even exhaust all of its kindling resources. So with this huge thicket of these young pines that are, with all the sticks that are low and easy to grab, we really have quite the resource, so we're good to go. I wanted to show you guys. so. I would say about 12 or so, uh, I'd say anywhere between like 10 and 13 or 14, but probably about 12 of our 20 acres that we're on here are fields like that. Like this one here, and you can see over there our greenhouse is just about to be finished. And uh, over there is our well house as well as our solar panels on the other side of that little sh uh, scrubby tree there. But I'll show you. A good chunk of our property is also this wash, which is cool for a number of reasons. One is, you'll see right here, I found this really cool, kind of bright, orangish red rock. I just might pocket that one. It's kind of neat. But, I mean, you've got all these natural stones, you know, flown in from the various floods from who knows where. You could have a just a, a wealth of cool rocks here. And this is also where I would say most of the wildlife comes through. You know, they, they stay away from us people for the most part, but over here, this is still, see that's a remnants of one of the many fires that have come through here, but this is where all the deer and elk, as well as occasionally bears and mountain lions, you'll see their tracks coming through this area our wash here. This is just kind of like their natural highway, sort of, I would imagine. So you can see all these tracks in here. And uh, it's pretty neat. And another cool thing, so out of this wash we actually have a, uh, a road on our property. And it was built nearly a hundred years ago. And uh, it was built by the settlers here the original settlers, and it was made from the very rocks in this wash. They pulled it out and they used it to pave the road. They also used rocks from 
exactly where I'm standing to pave, well not pave, but construct I should say, many of the surrounding roads. Oh man, check this out. Look at that. That is a cool looking stick. And if you broke that off right there and maybe right here, you got a heck of a cool Harry Potter wand, I think. That's like Elder Wand material right there. But, uh, yeah. So, on the, uh, the Settlers, uh, pretty cool stuff. You know, we've got a lot of history, actually, on our property. It was, um, it was originally 100 ac 180 acres, and you could say that our 20 acres is kind of where the majority of the stuff goes down, and... I tell you what, the pioneers or the settlers or whatever you want to call them, they were bad at littering. I cannot tell you how much of their junk I find everywhere. And where we are headed, there's also barbed wire that they left in a tree and the tree grew around it, the poor thing. And uh, yeah, there's just tons, tons and tons of their equipment and metal and history, I suppose, laying all over our property. In fact, I believe it's just up here. Let me find a good spot to... Well, hell, you know what? I'm actually gonna show you guys our little... We call it the shady area. And uh, this wash here... So the wash that I'm standing on is... This goes for a ways, but this wash that I'm about to enter. It's kind of like our personal wash, just because this one is majority only on our property. And uh, it's pretty cool what we've done. You know, we've only been here for like five months or so. Uh, so we're working on getting things together, but as I show you, there was a fallen tree there that I took a lot of our wood out of that we burned, but so we've got this Cute little stone path that we've started working on. Excuse the rake laying there. This area is usually a hell of a lot prettier too because there's normally a lot of beautiful leaves blowing in the wind, but it's winter. But uh, yeah, we've got this little archway I kind of threw together one day just to prettify things a little bit more. And uh, that's right, I almost forgot I was showing you the barbed wire. And you might think this is one of the only examples, but it's not. It is not. That stuff is everywhere. Where is it? I may have the wrong tree. If I do, you'll have to forgive me. All right. Um, I thought it was this one. But apparently I am incorrect. Let's try over here. Ow, whoa, thorny something or other. Whoa, another one, dang. This is why they tell me not to wear flip-flops every day, but I do. I'm sorry, guys, I am mistaken. Could have swore it was this one. Let's keep looking, we're gonna find it. It was starting to be a very long video, my apologies. Let's see here. I know there's some in this area, because I have seen it before. There it is. So, as you can see that barbed wire is in there. Who knows why it was there, but it's not coming out. The tree has grown around it. Looks like there's some stuff right here too. But uh, there's, there's actually a lot more better examples of that going on kind of further over there by the larger and older trees also where the old house was but uh yeah it is getting to be about sunset actually so i think my claim of hour hour and a half of or hour and a half two hours i said of sunlight was a little wrong more like an hour but yeah it's a little you know the bus is a little it's admittedly a little shabby looking on the outside and the inside kind of but we're getting there 
we really enjoy what we're doing and yeah it's it's pretty cool and uh let me give you another look there's our storage container our greenhouse pretty cool stuff and like i said it goes past that fence it also goes down there a ways yeah Alrighty, I will uh, check back in with you guys later.